1.30 Emperor update is bringing us a lot of opportunities and as probably most of you are already quite into this patch and you have a lot of new knowledge, it might be a time for you to find a challenge. And this video will be helpful to do so because I'm going to show you 10 most interesting formable nations that you can find in the new patch. So let's start it. On number 10, list is opened with a colonial nation called Vermont. It can be formed on the place of Canada or United States. It's very easy to form, you can see you don't need many requirements. And in exchange in the ideas you're getting some morale and discipline for the military, natives bonus or bonus to stability from your country. Color is not the best and even though it's easy to form and bonuses are quite nice, still I think United States are a way better tag to form in this place. Especially that Vermont is not getting any missions while United States are. On the next position we have another colonial nation, Zealandia. So basically a New Zealand, which is also quite easy to form because we just need the 10th technology, 4 cities in a colonial region of Australia and your capital there, and then just 2 provinces in New Zealand. And poof, you are getting what? Kiwi ideas. And not so bad color to be honest. Kiwi ideas are going to give you shock damage and morale for the military, colonist and additional setters for your colonization, death costs from the increase of your development, good spreaders for your economy and no minuses from hardics and heavens in your provinces for your stability. So these ideas are even better than the Vermontis and it's even easier to form this country. And even though Australia is still having an incredible ideas, this might be something new to try for you. With number 8 we are coming back to Europe and this is a nation of Swabia which might be formed for example by Württemberg. To do so you will need at least 10 provinces with Swabian culture. And that's actually it! You need Ulm and Stuttgart on top of that and you can easily form this nation. In exchange you are getting not so bad color. In the ideas you are going to get morale and manpower and AE impact the rest of the ideas are not that good, but when we move to the missions, over here getting tons of claims on most of Germany and some permanent bonuses like for mission strength or even morale of armies. So this one is quite interesting for southern Germany, you could form a swarm for example and have fun. Next nation might be formed for example by Sicily or Naples, to do so you need one of those two cultures. 10th admin technology, 10 provinces in Italy, out of which 2 needs to be Napoli and Palermo. In exchange you are getting mini Holy One Empire, at least the same color, and very but very decent ideas which are getting morale of armies and manpower, extra policies of each kind, quite nice bonuses to the ships, and co-creation costs. As for the missions, there's no big surprise here. If you're Naples, you're keeping your missions, and if you're Sicily, you're getting Naples missions, so nothing big here. But still, those missions are not so bad, they're giving you tons of claims, and this mini Holy One Empire should be interesting. Number 6 is one of my favorites, Dalmatia. And it's actually the easiest nation to form on all of those, because as Ragusa, you just need two provinces from Venice, and you can't be too big. And that's it, you can form Dalmatia. Well, the color is not the best, but you're getting great ideas. Those ideas are going to give you 10% of moral of armies and 15% infantry compatibility for your infantry, co-creation cost, trade efficiency and a lot of navy bonuses. And finally for the missions, you're getting the Ragusa missions, which are not so bad because there are some claims over there and most importantly, permanent death cost. Position number 5 is taken by another colonial nation of Alaska, which is very easy to form, you only use 10th technology and a few provinces in this region. In exchange, you are getting a beautiful white color which will help you to get the snow on the whole America or maybe even more. On top of that, you are getting amazing ideas which are giving you 15% land fire damage 15% death cost, which is a huge amount, and on top of that, massive bonuses to your navy, to your heavy ships compatibility, light ships compatibility, morale, force limit, 
or sailors. So this nation might be really interesting if you'd like to play a naval game with not so bad army on the land. Number four, we are coming back to Europe and we have a central German nation of Franconia. This one is also quite nice to form. You just need six provinces from Franconia culture and a few specific cities. On top of that, you just need 75 development, but it shouldn't be a problem to achieve. In exchange, you're getting this ugly green color, but also not so bad ideas, which are giving you bonuses like AE impact, manpower, republican tradition, which might be used if you are going for a republic, trade efficiency, death costs, advisor costs, and discipline. But that's not all, because Franconia is getting a quiet nice missions, which are giving tons of claims, including personal union on France. What is interesting, there's also a permanent bonus for death costs here, so you're increasing your death costs bonuses furthermore. So in my opinion, this might be one of the most interesting tags to play right now in the central Germany, especially for the multiplayer. Moving to the top 3 of the list, we have Lotharingia. It's a tag that might be formed by Burgundy, and what is interesting here, you can only form it through the missions. To do so, you need to take care of the Burgundy inheritance, get into the HRE, and conquer out of provinces over there. This makes this nation quite hard to get, but in exchange you are getting not so bad color, tons of permanent claims, and just look on these ideas. You're getting infantry compatibility, morale and manpower for your army, AE impact and co-creation cost for your expansion, and ideas like trade efficiency and idea cost. On top of that you're getting this beautiful flag and a few additional missions to what Burgundy has. What is interesting, you can get here permanent admin efficiency and idea cost. So yes, this tag is more challenging to get, but also the provinces are quite nice. Second place is occupied by Germany, which might be formed by any German nation, but of course the most probable is Prussia. To do so, you'll need 20th administrative technology and a lot of chosen cities within the Germany, so it's quite hard to form, but in exchange you're getting a very good ideas with infantry compatibility and discipline for your military, trade efficiency and goods produced monetary for your economy, and admin efficiency for your expansion. On top of that you're getting awesome missions, which are giving you tons of claim on the whole regions like Poland, for example, and a lot of permanent bonuses like our cultural conversion, and most importantly, another admin efficiency bonus, so you can get 10 additional admin efficiency through forming Germany. So yes, like previously while forming Germany it wasn't giving you any new ideas or any new missions, right now it might be a really good track to form, especially in the late game. So as probably some of you already guessed, first one is Holy Roman Empire. Why is it above Germany? First of all, on the current patch it's way easier to form than Germany and definitely faster to form. And same as for Germany, you are this time receiving new ideas and new missions. On the ideas and the military you are getting morale and discipline bonus. For expansion you are getting admin efficiency, co-creation costs, improved relations and governing capacity, so quite powerful ideas for expansion. And in the missions, it's very interesting because the upper part of the missions are exactly the same as the Germans, so tons of claims and bonuses, while the bottom of the missions are a little bit different than Germany. And finally, you're getting a permanent bonus for your additional policy slots, which might be really interesting if you're playing on policies focused campaign. So yeah, that's all for today. So guys, please tell me in comments which type of formable nation you already played or you would like to play on the current patch and if you like this video just please have a like and a subscription so see you soon